welcome back users so in last video we had seen how to upgrade from pop os 21.10 to pop os 22.04 lts beta version so uh, yesterday we uh, had stopped the video at the end because the installation was going for too long so it is very boring to see the installation screen for long time so i had uh, shortened the video so after uh, i shut off the video last uh, last evening the uh, installation went successful and i was able to upgrade to pop os 22.04 lts and today's uh, video we will see what is new in pop os 22.04 lts beta that we have installed yesterday so let us start this is the <coughs> login screen of the pop os 22.04 beta os uh, here we don't have the session uh, chooser only the accessibility features are there so we don't know whether this is xorg or wayland so later on in the settings menu we will able to see whether this is a wayland or xorg uh, display session so let us boot and uh, quickly go in inside the system So we are now booted into pop os 22.04 lts beta so the first thing we notice is the wallpaper it is uh, themed in the cosmic uh, desktop theme the newly uh, desktop being developed back uh, system 76 for their pop os so looks good it is uh, very typical design of pop os their, uh, their wallpapers are designed like this only they are very different from other distros so we have got workspaces here on the left side we can choose from the stack of the workspaces to switch to then we have the applications shared here as I told you in the uh, detailed review of pop os 21.10 we have got at the bottom we have got the folders so the folders help to manage a group of uh, apps so in the library home we have got calculator calendar contents files firefox geary text editor pop shop is the software store settings terminal text editor that is the g edit and the weather app in the office we have got only the office library office suite by default in the system we have got advanced network configuration this usage analyzer disk language support uh, passwords and keys power statistics or the power settings and uh, startup uh, applications and system monitor in the utilities we have got archive manager character map domain uh, document scanner document viewer ad uh, let us we will check uh, the different apps one by one the extensions fonts help image viewer show applications that is here then the show launcher workspaces text info usb flasher and videos and the create folder so if you want to create another group of uh, applications you can do that using this create folder and then you can collect the newly uh, installed apps by you in this folder or you can uh, even <coughs> collect uh, or uh, shuffle the uh, group of uh, installations inside this folder app, app installations in this folder so let us start so this is all well known so i will not go inside this pop shop if you want you can go pop shop is nothing but uh, the Gnome software store it is tweaked it is it has been tweaked by system 76 so it looks little different so regularly the accessories audio communication development education finance games graphics everything is there media production so uh, this pop os is a good uh, distro for media production and 
coding so coding and media production enthusiast use this so media production uh, for media production order 6 abd max bitrix studio bus track camera cb tracker dipin screen capture lot many applications are available cyano dipin voice recorder but ab media edit audacity lot many <coughs> applications are uh, available you can see i am just scrolling slowly so you can take a good look so this is a very good uh, uh, packed uh, media production uh, support for the creators excellent see you got everything you require to do the media production i will do i will install pop os later on and uh, do a long term review right now i am using uh, this ubuntu studio 22.04 then uh, office uh, office apps are there so lot of uh, it is fully packed uh, different applications are available system link language videos universal access everything is there everywhere everything you want is there in this store so if you go to install so there are some updates available right now we will see the git update is there git man uh, this is the git manuals ubuntu advantage tools ubuntu release upgrader core this release is the do upgrade upgrade uh, do release upgrade with a help message and the update manager core so very basic update is there we can uh, we can do it later right now we continue with the uh, review so pop picks are the hot uh, applications which are available hot means uh, they are mostly used by most of the users telegram steam matter most deja do backup spotify visual studio core lutris mails slack and many more and the recently updated this uh, section contains the apps which have been recently updated so you get the latest uh, release of the individual app that is put here in this section and the rest below the categories which we discussed earlier are there so i think the pop over uh, we have seen the pop over store now let us go ahead in the office the libre office suite is there let us check the version of the libre office suite we just open say okay so libre office 7.3.2.2 is uh, offered to the users so that is quite latest version then uh, we go ahead to advanced network configuration disk usage analyzer you can check out the disk usage analyzer so pop os is taking out of uh, 22 gb it is taking 12.3 uh, is available so around it has used around 10 gb something like 10 gb of space for the pop os installation and this is the installer so we installer we can eject this is the disk see okay uh, now we will uh, see it in another another way circular chart or if you want the bar chart is also here it is a ring chart and uh, now we will be tree map okay this is the ring chart and this will be the bar chart or the tree map chart 
okay so we come out of this close it down again go to applications then you you check out the disk uh, g disk okay okay so that uh, system restore partition is not there but when you install it on bare metal the system uh, restore partition will be there that is the system recovery partition right now it is not there in the vdd this is the swap partition 4.3 block device swap partition and this is the hdd look this this swap partition is this and this dvd uh, iso that we used to install so in for the virtual disk there is no installation of the system recovery partition that i wanted to check and now i am clear right? for vdd system restore partition does not install when you use the clean install option okay now we go ahead we are in system so startup application so here firmware manager check is there flat pack transition is there pop os release check is there and the ssh keys, uh, key agent is there so when you install uh, some new applications and you want to add those applications to startup you have to use this add key and then uh, browse the command either or name of the installation then it will you can add it here okay so uh, now we check in uh, we go to the utilities folder and we check what is id okay id is nothing but gdb like something some uh, program like gdb which install uh, installs the dot dev uh, application so you can drag and drop dev applications in this and then it will install okay so id is the installer standalone installer we can say this is the usb flasher so you choose the image from here okay and then you inst uh, install uh, the usb inside the usb port and then you flash the image Use an image to the USB. Okay. Let us see some other applications are there. What is the test info? Okay. This is I have not used. I will use and let you know what exactly is this. I have not used before. So if you use show workspaces, then it will show the stack of workspaces on the left side of your screen. Okay, I think we have uh, done with the checking out of applications this is the extension uh, but this gnome tweak is not uh, there to see maybe we have to install it later on only the uh, gnome extensors is there so let us check the gnome extension okay okay the cosmic doc uh, extension has been installed by default doc uh, desktop icons ng ding is installed okay then pop cosmic uh, is installed so right now pop cosmic is working as an extension so later on they will have full fledged uh, desktop called pop cosmic pop shell system 76 power so power management system 76 has been installed as a extension right now and this is the ubuntu app indicator that is this one you can see there is one update is there so that is the Ubuntu app indicator. So very nice. I like the way they are tweaked the uh, standard GNOME desktop available in uh, Ubuntu. This is a fantastic system. I have used this two, I think one and a half year or two years back. It was okay for me. That time I didn't uh, go in depth. I installed it for I think maybe 15, 20 days and then uh, moved to another i think ubuntu or kubuntu i think i moved but now i am uh, 
after this review i am i am becoming a fan of pop os really it is a very good system they are designed okay now let us go to the settings menu okay so the super action key that is the window key in most of the laptops we can use that key to launch so if i okay if i use that key right now my ubuntu studio that is my laptop uh, application menu opens up because uh, it is keyed to the the fun function key is mapped to that setting then there is, you can use the workspaces also so if you uh, press your super key then the workspaces uh, menu will open up then uh, the applications menu can also open the, now you can enable the hot corners also in the top bar already show workspaces and show applications button is enabled toggle is enabled date and time can be at center left i think that is left right okay three options are there the window controls show maximize button is not there you can have a show maximize button so if i click it here yes show maximize button is there then let us go to the back background okay so these are the different uh, wallpapers available with this edition yes this is the cosmic uh, desktop wallpaper default very nice i like this wallpaper let us see how it oh it is looking very unique and beautiful if you have a very big screen 32 inch 36 inch monitor then it will look very great uh, let us check out some more this one is also very sexy yes looks very good cool to the eye this one is the uh, the most i like very beautiful very soothing to the eyes and it adds the 3d effect to the desktop so if you have got a very big desktop then look it this looks very great superb i can say so the different uh, wallpapers are there you choose according to your liking so i return back to the default wallpaper then let us go to the appearance so only light and dark theme are there there is no intermediate theme with mix of light and dark elements though that is not there available it is there in uh, older ubuntu versions that is 20 21 point 20 and 21 point so there was a mix so even in ubuntu they have removed that so it is either dark or it is other light so mix mix match is not available then we go to the dock so for the dock we have got the enable dock toggle extend dock to edges of the screen so if you click on this the dock will extend to the edges if you unclick the dock will come back to the center launch show launcher icon on dock show launcher so if you click this so you can uh, use this to type uh, search apps and type question mark for more options let us okay so it gives the different uh, option so you can use research, uh, use it to search recently open document you can search uh, the calculator web search you can do terminal or background uh, background commands you can do file search you can do file navigations from here so very cool show workspaces icon in the dock so this is the workspaces icon show applications icon so this is the applications icon so mounted drives so right now i am not mounted any extra uh, additional drive so it is not showing up otherwise we could have seen the mounted drives also if you insert the usb then it will be shown and uh, uh, icon click action is launch or cycle windows so you can cycle the windows uh dock visibility always visible you can al always hide you can intelligently hide show dock on display you can show it on either primary or on a dis all on displays then the dock size small medium and large size so right now by default it is 48 pixels we can 
make it small yes position on the desktop bottom of the screen along the left side so if you take it here it will go there if you on the right side or at the bottom so we, we keep it at the bottom as per the default then the workspaces so dynamic workspaces you can fix the workspaces to one two three four like that multi monitor be workspaces fan displays workspaces on, on only primary display placement of workspace picker so right now we have got it on the say, left side we can have it on the right side so what is happening suppose we put it on the right side and then we click okay so it will appear on the right side so i put it on the left side as the default we come out this is the bluetooth uh, menu right now the bluetooth is switch off so it will not show any menu okay so desktop we already done notification so you can uh, do the notification settings for each app whether to show the notifications of that app on the screen or not dnd is also available and lock uh, no, uh, lock screen notification yes or no toggle is there applications is there these are the private uh, privacy settings so i already explained you in privacy settings if you toggle this off then the system will not try to uh, search and log on, uh, log on to or connect to the uh, tower tower or you say data source again and again every after every say few minutes it will again uh, connect with the data source as per the configuration when you are not using the data so even if you are not using the data uh, data source yet it will continue to connect with the data source again and again in the background so what happens is the connectivity is kept alive otherwise if you don't use the data source for a long then uh, the system might disconnect it due to the power uh, management uh, power management so but what happens is whenever you connect uh, your connect to the data source the your uh, laptop info information is goes to the data source so data source knows which, which laptop which device is getting connected again and again so if you don't want to give your computer or laptop info to the data source you have to toggle this off now location services so you can turn your location service on or off this is off by default we don't have any thunderbolt uh, port here in the laptop in india thunderbolt is not popular so no file is, uh, history and trash so this is same as in ubuntu 22.04 lts so i explained it there also in uh, ubuntu 21.10 also the the file history and trash was there i explained it no need to explain again then go to screen so this is the power uh, power settings menu also and here also you can configure the screen lock and everything so when to show the notification lock screen on suspend automatic screen lock delay so you can uh, there are different options are there you can use any one uh, any one of the setting as per your requirements so blank screen delay also it is given from one minute to never so you can use that that's it so where we are okay privacy settings over there now this is the google online account so you can connect with google next cloud microsoft flickr foursquare microsoft exchange last fm imap and smtp that is your uh, email enterprise login or kerberos then you go to sharing so here you can share your uh, laptop as a remote desktop or media or media sharing then the sound is there those th different sound settings are there this is the <coughs> sorry this is the power saving option screen blank how many minutes after you want the screen to go blank 
so by default it is five minutes automatic suspend if you if you want say i i choose yes then it will ask me after how, how much delay so from 15 minutes to or two hours so after uh, when system is idle for say 20 uh, say 15 minutes to up two hours then according to the setting when system remains idle for that time it is automatically suspended the displays are there so orientation of display resolution of display refresh rates fractional selling so high dpi diamond is selected so we have got high dpi settings uh, selected so this uh, this gives you a very uh, good resolution and viewing angles and overall the desktop will look very nice but it consumes power okay so if you are okay with uh, consumption of more power you have to keep this on or else you can toggle this both the settings off but by default in power OS, it is selected yes then the mouse and touchpad selections are there you can test your settings from this button the keyboard is there the keyboard uh, so input sources and input source switching and special uh, character entry you can do it then you can compose the keys also shortcut keys from here here this okay then the printer menu is there to uh, configure your printer add your add and configure your pr printer there are some additional printer settings also available so you can do that removable media is there color is there firmware this is the firmware so right now no managed firmware is uh, available then the re region and language settings you can do you can change of course i can change to india if i want then the access accessibility settings are already put uh, it is by default available this is the accessibility setting on the desktop so if i click it off then it will go away okay then users then default applications date and time os upgrade yes this is this is where i will show you what happens let it open okay so os upgrade uh, what is telling you are running the most current pop os so if new update is available then it is shown here so automatic updates is switched off by off by default automatic install is switched off by default show update notifications only weekly okay so here you can create the log files community support in pop os chat you can join it from here documentation you can browse now you go with the about section so it is a okay the windowing system that is the display server is x11 so it is not valent right now therefore the option at the login screen was not available if you remember i told you we cannot say whether this is a, a, a valent session or a x11 session so valent is not available only x11 is available okay this is my i3 uh, core system everything is given pop os 22.04 uh, lts 64 bit and genome version is 42 so that is the latest uh, genome version available but it is with x x org or x11 system wayland is not available okay so what we do is now we will close this now we will check out this function that is the automatic window tiling so we toggle it on okay launcher is super uh, super keys navigation window is super plus arrow keys okay and the toggle tiling is super plus y so okay so what we do is we open two two or three applications say we open okay okay then we open files menu look because the automatic tiling is uh, on automatically on opening the second uh, second window the both windows get tiled so if you open another another window the tiling will change let us see what happens
okay so it has it is automatic tiling has been done so now let us use the function key and arrow key let let's see what happens we choose one okay check super pass arrow keys only launcher is super so if you use okay so it just launches the uh, app launcher now oh, just a moment super plus y gives toggle tiling so super plus okay so you can toggle between the open windows so right now i mean this is the file manager so super plus y again i click so tile manager will come to forefront tile manager will go uh, to the background now i use this function plus y so calculator comes in the foreground calculator again goes back <coughs> in the uh, background so say it comes in the foreground okay so this is very good uh, tiling so what happen is uh, in on desktop there is no tiling available proper tiling is not there so many users are offended they do they want tiling because say when you are doing some programming work you need to see two or three windows open so one is your uh, uh, program window the other is the compiler or the error window so you need to check both so that time auto tiling comes to help for the programmer so this is a very necessary feature for those in the programming say you are a sound or a musician then you require multiple windows showing the different uh, components of your uh, uh, say what we say sound manager or different uh, instruments digital instruments in different windows so that also requires the automatic tiling so it is is the work of the music or video creator sound creator so super plus arrow keys is not working right now okay super okay okay it is working so here super down uh, the file when a file manager come to foreground now the uh, calculator has come to the foreground i again go down this is also calculator and then i again go to the left it is not working only up and down keys are working and sideways also working but this firefox is not opening up okay so I, i think i will need practice i am not used to this but definitely pop os i will use it as for long term later on this is a very promising uh, distro we should use so let us close the windows okay we are missed any anything let us check no so this is the review of pop os 22.04 lts beta this is a very promising update so this will bring uh, green on faces of many uh, creators and programmers this is a very good uh, step forward step for pop os Uh, we wish them best for the cosmic desktop hope uh, they <coughs> make the pop, pop uh, cosmic desktop and it will be liked by all their users and fans so thank you very much do subscribe to our channel do comment do uh, advise us on topics on which you want to have a video we can have a live session also if you want we can discuss and exchange uh, views and uh, information thank you very much bye bye see you in the next video
in next video we will have a, a installation of fedora 36 beta which which was a demand of our viewers so they want to test the fedora 36 beta so we'll do it in the next video maybe tomorrow or day after tomorrow and then after the installation video next video we'll have the a detailed overview of the fedora 36 so what are the new changes uh, in fedora si uh, system in, in comparison to fedora 35 thank you very much bye bye see you